Hey, Como. Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome to Angora Poets, the World Cafe, coming out of Paris and reaching into the poetry hearts of people around everywhere. And uh, this is Mo Sigur, and uh, I'm glad you're going to be able to listen to this recording tonight with a reading of a very, very good poet who cannot be on Zoom, but I will read for him. And so uh, with that, uh, I'm going to ask us to get warmed up with our man, Kareem Jafari, to give us a poetry or song. So on this, on this Sunday, August 29th, Kareem, are you there, Kareem? Yeah, Mr. Mo. Um, okay. Maybe I'll sing a song uh, in, uh, in English. Oh, okay. So... So, is this called, uh, I don't remember of the title of the song, but I, I, I know the song. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I don't remember. Lonely guy in his lonely life in the lonely world. So lonely tree met this lonely girl in her lonely city with lonely dreams. The Saturday scenes and what they made it, what they feel. L O V E love L O V E so fucking real L O V E love L O V E so real so don't despise anyone and the sun will rise again don't quit criticize anyone and the sun will rise again say lonely guy is a lonely life lonely words a lonely street met this lonely girl in lonely city lonely dreams as sad as it seems What they made it, what they feel. L O V E love, L O V E love, so fucking real. Okay, is it real, Kareem? Is it real? <laughs> <laughs> it's so real, man. Love is—it's—it's it's, it's, it's everything. And that's what we're told, huh? Okay, what have you next for us? A poem or another song? What have you next? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe a poem. You know. Okay. Uh, a poem in French. We oui, okay, d'accord. Uh, a short one, uh, maybe. Uh, I wasn't pre prepared to be the first, so uh, uh, I I'll tell you one that uh, that I have in mind. Okay. So, um, Brillant au soleil, les banderilles des toreros, les banderoles et les bannières sont brandies, et les rires bancales comme ceux des banquiers clamant la banqueroute et susurrant banco. Telle une couronne à la tête bandée, les bandits toujours en bande se croient bancables. Les bangs en bandoulière, attendant le bâton, 
curieux baptême pour des brebis, égaré par la baratrie d'un bel âtre barbare, barguinant le plus souvent dans sa barbe. Au barbelé, je préfère les bardes, sans barguignerie baroque, baroudeur sans barrière, barreur ou baron, simple barrique, basané. À tâtons, je tâtonne, je t'étonne, me tatoue des tatous dans un taudis underground et ondulait la tôle. S'écroule sous les lames totochrones, les tam-tam tauromachiques, les bières tièdes, les tolars tâteurs, nouveaux taxidermistes en technicolore tissent avec technicité les toiles techno-bureaucratiques d'un terrorisme de taille à tenter des téniux, téléphrodisiaques. Surtout ne bouge pas, c'est télédynamique. Télesthésiste, j'aime bien le télémarque. J'ai du mal avec les taureaux et je chasse le tigre. Mmh. Les témoins se sont tus. Le climat est tempéré, mais la sueur temporale trahit la tempérance des natures tempétueuses remplissant nos temples. Il est temps de temporiser, d'affronter la tempête, pètera peut-être blessure térébrante au doux nom de Tequila, blessure térébrante au doux nom de Frida. Merci. Oh, ok. Now, what we should have done is give a brief explanation of what you're saying in this poem. After so, you begin with the soleil brillant, uh, the burning sun. Uh, so it was an early, uh, early work of poetry for me. Um, it was a work with a dictionary, you know. So um, with alliteration, I don't know the word uh, in, in English, alliteration. Right, alliteration, yes. Absolutely. So uh, I worked uh, uh, to give, uh, to try, excuse me, to try to give sense to, the, to those words who are very different and uh, different senses and the different uh, meanings, sorry, di different meanings, and uh, faire un assemblage. Uh, a collection. A collection to to uh, and try to to uh, to to <laughs> and try mm -hmm. to 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 reflect uh, certain meanings, uh, political meanings, you know. Yes. So, okay. Uh, and and uh, your your alliter your alliteration was in B, bon bon de bon. And in B and uh, then in T, and so, the third part is in D. Okay, okay. Well, it, it was rocking. Thank you very much. Okay, it was rocking. And we look forward to when you publish your bilingual collection of poetry. Inshallah, like we said. Yeah, we look forward to that. Okay, now, can you call up a third poem for us? So maybe I, I, I'll do the D. <laughs> the okay, D do, part. The, do the, a third poem, a troisième. Absolutely. So, okay. Dystomie de la pensée, aphasie culturelle. Okay, now, now wait. Give us a brief explanation of your poem, a brief summary. Um, it's a walk in D with the, the, the letter D in the dictionary. Uh, and um, the meaning is about um, politics in France at, at, at this time. Uh, when we thought that maybe we we should have a woman uh, for president, for president, and it was um, a woman versus Nicolas Sarkozy. And, uh, ah yes, uh, Ségolène Royal. Ségolène Royal, yeah, and her husband would end up becoming president, actually. Yes, her ex uh, ex uh, yeah. husband. Yeah, excellent. And he did not do too well. No. <laughs> yeah, I voted for her. She she almost won. Yeah. She almost won, but uh, you know the media and everything. But at that time, was it 2008 or something? Yeah. Uh, the 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 uh, male political establishment thought uh, that France was not ready for a woman. Absolutely. I remember that. They, they were saying that, yeah, yeah. And she was more clear than, uh, than her rivals, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's hear it, in D, Kareem in D. 
Dystomie de la pensée, aphasie culturelle, le disque est rayé mais les doudingues dansent. Je dynamite d'un verbe de rue, les malandrins, les malotrus, bénissois qui cherche un sens. Polymorphe et doué, ton discours est rodé, mais d'ores et déjà doublement douteux, tu doutes. Pour les données de ton plan, tu as sacrifié l'enfant, et ta faim des relents de femme inassouvie, dominante dictatrice qui dompte les vulgaires, dramatique. Polymorphe et doué, ton discours est rodé, mais d'ores et déjà tu doutes. Pour les données de ton plan, tu as sacrifié l'enfant, et ta faim des relents de femmes inassouvies, dominante dictatrice qui dompte les vulgaires, domestique la foule, des dizaines de dizains à la main des doctrines et puis des moyens, dramaturgie de gare, de simologie constante, ton dynamisme diminue et la drogue prend le pas. Le divin est divisé, la population déprimée, comme si elle devinait au beau milieu d'une danse que le diable s'est diversifié et qu'il veut régir la France. Discrètement, il distribue des dividendes de, de du et des députés dissolus d'un don saugrenu qui, qui dissémine les dissensions, se dispute, se disloque. Je dispose d'une raison, donc je dissipe, je disserte, je dis prose. Thank you. Okay. So, if you haven't picked up yet, people, uh, two statements that Corinne made about the current state of French people is divided and depressed. But there's still hope. But okay. All right. Good to know that too as well. Okay. Thank you, Corinne. Thank you very much. And uh, now what we're going to do is I'm going to read a couple poems by uh, Strider Marcus Jones, who is a fine poet and the curator editor of the Lithlorian Journal Poetry Review, which is getting quite a, a lot of traction, quite, quite a lot of looks from people around uh, this country and around other countries. So he's not able, Strider follows Angora Poets for a couple years, but he's not able to do Zoom. So in lieu of him not being able to do Zoom, uh, he's agreed that I can read a few of his poems for him. So that's what I'm about to do now. Okay, let's call him up. Let's call him up. All right, here we are. Okay, so again, our poet is Strider Marcus Jones, and this poem is called Hopper's Ladies. Okay. In grow, more mysterious though, but familiar in my interior, with voices peeled, full of field, of fruiting orange trees, fertile to orchard breeze, soaked in summer rains, so each refrain all remains, not afraid of contrast, closed and opened in the past, and present, this isolation of Hopper's ladies sat thinking in and out of ifs and maybes in a dinner, reading in a chair. Woof. Find the rest of this. 